<clears throat> Hello, y'all. Chef Jeffrey here, back with another video here. Uh, this is something video I'm making today, recipe I'm making today is uh, something that's very essential in holiday season. Turkey, dressing, cranberry sauce, but something you gotta have and give it a gravy. And this is where I was taught a few twists and turns that I put on it throughout the years, but the main staple ingredient that I was taught growing up, my mama used to make, uh, I still use. So it's very simple. Give it a real good old school homemade giblet gravy. It's a long process. It's like a three or four hour process, but at the end it's worth it, worth it, worth it. Okay, let's get started on the first step. I got a lot of ingredients sitting out here. Well, all these ingredients was, will eventually go into this Give It A Gravy. But to start, it's only a few to begin in the Give It A Gravy. So let's get started here. Okay. Well, you got giblets. Of course, you got giblets. Of course, you know, these things are so, so, so tough. It takes hours and hours to make them tender. So what are we going to do? We're going to put them in my pot here. And we're going to let this simmer about three, four hours. Very low and slow, three or four hours until they tender up. When they tender up, I'm going to take them out and dice them up by hand. Like I said, it's a long process, long and tedious process. Like I said, most of my videos are, <clears throat> excuse me, are very easy. But this one, it takes a little time, but it's worth the time and effort. So what it is, I'll put the giblets in this pot. I'll put onions and celery in here. And I got my celery... Not small dice, but dice kind of medium, because if this cooks down, cooks and cooks, the celery and onion is going to cook down. I'll put that in there. Now, y'all remember I always make a homemade chicken stock? That's what this comes in handy. So what it is, I'm going to put my old school chicken stock in here. Put it in there. One bag there. And we're going to turn this on. And let it simmer. And as it simmers for three or four hours. Now, after it simmers, we're going to come back and I'm going to add my fresh herbs to that. And these eggs are going to boil eggs. I'm going to chop up and add to that, season it with salt and pepper. But the main thing right now I want to do, I want to get these, these give this tender. So, what I'm doing, I got my, again, chicken stock, homemade chicken stock in there. You see, it's kind of frozen because I always keep some in the freezer. And I make a lot of stock and I freeze it. So this is still afraid frozen. Of course, it's going to thaw out as it cooks. Onions and celery and gizzards and giblets. And that's it. We're going to cover this up. Let it simmer three, four hours. We'll come back. I'll take the giblets out. we chop them up. Put them back in there and get the process going. But this is the first process to give it a gravy. We'll be back in a few hours. All right, y'all. We back here. These have been simmering. Probably about three hours here. <clears throat> now the giblets is nice and tender, you can see. It's very tender, see? See how tender they are, see? Now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take them out of this pot. I'm gonna take the uh, giblets out of this pot. See, it got a nice, rich, see how that old school chicken stock with that? The onions and celery, see how the onions and celery cook down? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the giblets out of here, cool them off a little, then I'm going to dice them up, and then we're going to put them back in here. We're going to put our fresh herbs in here. I got the, uh, I boiled the eggs already. I'm going to chop this up. This is going to go in right at the end. Chop parsley right at the end. We're going to tighten it up with a little old school roux. Salt and pepper. Let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll have some old school giblet gravy. So we'll come back here. I'm gonna let, like I say, let this cool. I'm gonna take these giblets out, chop them up, and we're gonna finish this gravy up. We'll be right back. All right, y'all be back. <clears throat> I got the uh <clears throat> I got a close-up here on the pot so y'all can really see what I'm doing here when I finish this gravy up. I got the giblets already diced up, see here. Okay, now gonna finish this giblet gravy up. See, I got the stock. All I have in here now, remember I took the giblets out. 
and dice them up. <clears throat> All this is right now is just a <clears throat> salt, uh, not salty pepper. <clears throat> Onions and celery and old school chicken stock. And I cooked the giblets in here, took them out, and diced them up. Now, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my giblets back to this. Put them back in here. Turn them around. Okay. Now I'm gonna add my herbs to this. The rosemary. A little thyme, parsley we're going to add to the end, we're going to let that boil, come back up to a boil, it's already smelling good here. Also I'm going to add some uh, dried sage to this. I usually use fresh sage, but to me, I think I'm kind of different than others. To me, fresh sage is a little it's a little bitter to me when it cooks. So, if you like fresh sage, you can use it. But I'm going to put a little dried sage in here. Not a lot. Right. Okay. We want this to come back up to a boil. Get all around this thing. take a couple of minutes to come back up to a boil. Cause I want this to cook a little with the herbs. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover it up a little and let it cook for like five minutes. Want to cook like five minutes with the fresh herbs in there. And we're gonna be right back. And uh, we're gonna add the, when it come back, we're gonna tighten it up with a little roux and uh, season with salt and pepper. And right at the end, we add the boiled eggs. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back again here. Wow, this smells so good. You can smell the fresh herbs, the rosemary, the thyme, and the sage. Smell just like, smell like Thanksgiving in here right now. Thanksgiving and Christmas in here right now. See how that's boiling? That's what you want to do, because you want to activate those dry herbs. Let them cook in there. Really, really cook down in there. Now, here's the tricky part when I'm fixing to do. Old school roux. All in the other. Everybody asks me, what is roux, brother? It's roux. I even got it on the screen right there. It's 50% melted butter, 50% flour. <clears throat> That's all it is. 50% melted butter, 50% flour. So we're going to pour this in here. <clears throat> so we want to thicken this a little. Not a lot. We want to turn it into gravy. Because right now it looks like soup. So we got to put some roux in here. <clears throat> make it into gravy. See how it's thickening up? See that? A little bit more. Like I said, this recipe is on the description of the video, so. There we go. <clears throat> you want this to cook a little, because you want to cook that flour taste out of the gravy. Okay. Now, that's the consistency we want in the gravy. Now, we're going to add some boiled eggs to this right at the end. Now, this is something optional you can do or can't do. This is what I grew up on. Ghibli gravy had boiled eggs in it. I'm turning this down, too. Boiled eggs in it. So, that's old school Ghibli gravy that has boiled eggs in it. That's where I was raised on. So, that's what I put in it. More in there. That's it. And right at the end, I'm gonna put some parsley, give it some more color. I don't put the parsley too early because it will lose its color. See how pretty that is? See how that's coming along? Look at that. Now, last but not least, we're gonna season it with salt and pepper. <clears throat> I 
got to have the flavor in there, the salt and pepper. Now that's the key too. And I also turned this down a few minutes ago. Okay, I'm gonna taste this and taste the seasoning. Oh yeah, that's really good. That's real good. Now, we're going to do one more little thing to give it some extra body, some extra full body gravy. I'm going to put a little heavy cream in here. Not much. Maybe a fourth of a cup of cream in there. That's going to give it that extra body. See that? See how that's coming together? Look at that. That's going to go good on some turkey. See that? That's what I'm talking about right there, old school style. Now I want this to cook about five, ten minutes. And I want to let the cream, you know, do its job. It's going to thicken it a little. And I want the root taste to come out of here too. And I want the herb flavor to all blend together. So we're going to let this simmer for about ten minutes. And I'm going to come right back and show you the final product. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back one more time here. Okay, that's what you want. We're completely finished. It's cooked down. The root taste is out of it. That's what you want. Old school paper gravy. Look at that. That'll go good on some turkey. It'll go good on some dressing. See that? Not too thick, not too thin. That's what you're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Old school giblet gravy. Try this recipe. <clears throat> and uh, like I say, if you don't like the eggs in it, you don't have to put the eggs in it. If it's rosemary or thyme or certain herbs that you don't like, you don't have to put in it. It's all optional. This way I've always made it. My mom always made it. So I just do it the same as I was raised on. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Please share. Please comment. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.